Hello, I'm Chris Pasto, Founder, Training Director, and Engineering Consultant with Rescue Jack Incorporated. We take pride in providing not only great equipment and techniques, but integrity in design and development. Testing has been an integral component of our strut design and development over the last 20 years. The struts are columns, and the strength of a column is influenced by many factors, such as length, diameter, wall thickness, end conditions, and load position, to name a few. We have always tested our struts as a fully assembled, as-used system with a head and base attached to the extension tubing. This is critical as a pivoting end condition has a major impact on reducing the column capacity relative to a fixed end fitting. Another widely overlooked issue is the load position on the strut or column ends and its impact on capacity. First, let me say that a column is meant to be axially loaded at the two ends side loading or making contact with the strut along the length of the strut is to be avoided as this is beam loading and a strut is typically not rated for beam loading. There's basically two types of column loading we need to be familiar with. There's centered concentric loading or offset or eccentric loading. Currently most struts on the market list a concentric column load capacity only which can be deceiving. A column that is concentrically loaded is stronger than a column that would have an eccentric or offset load. It's possible to lose close to half the concentric capacity of a strut by moving the load a mere inch and a half off center. For this reason, at Rescue Jack, we prefer to give you the offset capacities as well. One more quick note I'd like to make regarding strut capacity is there's a prevalent misconception that a strut has a different capacity at different angles. Regardless of a strut's orientation, the strut's capacity remains the same. What does change is the load that it sees based on the angle of attack. A vertical strut supporting a 5,000 pound load will feel a 5,000 pound load. The same strut placed at approximately a 45 degree angle will see about one and a half times the actual load or roughly 7,500 pounds. That's all for now. Thank you for your time. Stay tuned and stay safe.